Hey guys, um, I'm here to show you some simple cosplay tricks to save you some money. Um, I bought one of the uh, Crossbones Marvel masks. It's uh, officially licensed by Rubies. I don't really like the paint job, so I'm going to redo that. Um, I'm going to take off these straps and I'm going to show you how to make it into a full helmet so that you can wear it um, front to back. And uh, it's pretty simple. Actually, if you have a lot of the tools like a Dremel, um, you know, duct tape foil, uh, EVA foam, um, glue, usually barge cement, um, maybe some super glue in this case, uh, so we could stick it to here, or even hot glue is a cheap alternative. Um, uh, you may need some spray paint if you want to repaint this. Um, I would spray it with some flat black and uh, then I'd take some model paint and uh, repaint it with that. Um, I didn't like the eyes if you look at it. See how it's, it's, it's more of a straight cut. So what I did is I, I colored it black and I'm actually going to cut this out or dremel it out just a little bit. So it gives it a little bit more of a... Um, kind of mean look you can kind of see where the black is that's going to be cut out so that it kind of has a little more aggressive look to it now what you're going to want to do is take some foil and I'd wear a stocking cap with this or something that you could keep your hair from getting pulled out um, because what you're going to do is you're going to actually put the foil pretty much on your head and you're going to round it out for the most part and then have somebody or you can carefully duct tape it yourself so that it becomes like a rounded piece and if you want to look I'll try to show you here um, what I'm doing with it is I'm actually making sure that it kind of fits where I want it to in the actual mask so you can kind of see um, you know I have a little divot to the back where I want it to kind of fit the back of my skull to my neckline. Um, but you see how now it's already starting to look like a mask, a full helmet. Um, and so you can kind of play with the shape you want of that. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice if you're not used to doing something like that. But the thing that you want to do is, if you can see this closely, is you want to label you know, back, front, top, sides, whatever, and actually mark it with a pen so that you can actually draw the, the lines where it will meet up. Because what you're going to do is actually cut this into a template. And so, like if you look here, I already have kind of the lines on it. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to hold it without ruining it. But... Um, so I, I kind of wrote the lines. You see that black line at the closer to the top. I'm trying to make it where that's where the helm has indentions. And then if you look at this one, that's going to be right where the white line is. That's going to be a little more shape form instead of just round. So that it kind of blends with the way the mask is going. Does that make sense? So you see how it's a little more square right here. I want that angled piece to match the back of the helmet. And then of course here, this is actually, I believe, cut out in the real mask. If you look at the reference pics, that's actually cut out. So what I'm going to do is make sure that this EVA foam that I create out of this goes in deep enough that if I cut that piece out, it's safe and it, it won't show a piece of my head. It'll just be part of the EVA foam inside there, indented. Um, and so when you take it out, I actually, I, I cut it beforehand so I can make it easier to show you. But um, So you're going to peel off the sections. And you need to know kind of where to cut it. Some of this takes experience. Um, so I've done this a, a couple times. But basically because it's a rounded piece, you actually want to flatten it out. So you're going to kind of have to know where the cut line should be to flatten that out. Do you see that? And so what I did is I took my EVA foam 
something that you can get at like Harbor Freight, any of that stuff, um, depending on where you're at. And then I kind of traced it along the side of the thing. Okay, onto the foam itself. So I have the right piece, the left piece, and the middle piece. Okay. And so when you get that, you're just going to take your uh, X-Acto knife and you're going to cut those pieces out of the foam, which I'll show you at a later, uh, at a later time. I think I'll, I'll actually make sure that you get to see that. But cut it out and um, same thing with these templates. You want to make sure that they're flat. And if you're not sure if they're even, um, you can kind of just take the side that you want the side that you prefer on this and lay it flat on the EVA foam okay draw out the lines and notice I cut it so that it's not rounded again I can flat it make it kind of a flat image from the 3D image to kind of the 2D right but um, draw the lines on one side and if you're not sure if these are equal and all that you can just flip it and then draw that side on the other part of the EVA foam. Now, be careful that you know which side was this, the part that matched the side that you drew. So let's say this was the front side of that one, you know, and it, and it matched together when it, was a, when it was an actual helmet. You're gonna lay that down, do that as the, the one side, whether it's right or left, right? You go left side there, and then you're gonna flip it and draw that as the right side because you want that specific one to fit that way. Now, if your measurements are slightly off, it may make that back piece bigger or smaller depending on, on how skewed that side is. So really try to get it as even as possible as far as the, what I call the spine of the, the helmet and then of course the sides, you know, as even as you can get them. So if, if you do do this method, it might not change the measurements very much. All right. Um, so other than that, I am going to get to work on cutting out the EVA foam, dremeling it, smoothing it out, barge cementing it so I can piece it together. I'm also going to dremel this out, spray paint it so I can get a, f a flat black look that's going to match the color of the back of the helm. Um, I'm also going to take off the elastic bands and uh, spray paint everything and then I will show you also how to um, maybe paint on the actual um, hopefully movie style version as opposed to this kind of mess that they made. So um, anyway, that's it. So that will be crossbones. Uh, we're going to make the full helm, and really it's not going to cost me very much. Actually, I have almost all the tools, so really it's costing me nothing other than buying this mask for $8. So uh, you'll have a full helm for probably under 20 unless you have to buy all the materials. X-Acto knife, EVA foam, Dremels, stuff like that. But most of you should have something around the house that's crafty enough that you can actually still make it pretty decent without all of the tools. The tools just make life easier. All right, so um, let's live and let cosplay, and I will see you in the next segment. Thank you. I didn't like the eyes that much either. They're kind of more straight across, and if you look at the picture, it has a little more of an aggressive look. So I'm going to Dremel that out. Um, the mask is a little bit big for me as far as my... Uh, if you look at my jawline, where my chin ends, there's about that much excess on the bottom part. And then, of course, the top is a little bit high for me. So um, I'm going to trim some of that off and um, make like the helmet piece for it. So anyway, let's kind of get to work. I'm just going to Dremel here real quick. I will cut the straps off the sides. Um, because we're not going to need this elastic, and so um, we'll definitely get that cut off. And you can always reuse this for something else in case you need it. But there's your straps. Okay. Um, 
Here we go. Actually, I'll cut the inside in case I need more length on this for something else. Boom. Okay. That leaves some holes in the side of the mask. So what I may do is put some black warble. It's a thermal plastic. I just happen to have some around. Um, so I, I might just use that to cover up the hole. You can also use foam or even like if you don't really care, you can put hot glue in there. I mean, really, and then just paint it. But uh, that's up to you. I'm going to let you decide on those things. So here we go with the eyes. And be careful. Take your time. sticker off and you can kind of see added some vent holes so I'm going to clean that up I did the eyes cut the chin slightly cut the top part of the mask so it should fit my face a little better so there we go and um, I'll show you the next few steps after this I am going to spray paint it just with a light coat of a flat black all right thanks guys